Hey guys, so if you're here, you're probably one of my friends from school. You might be someone that I knew from work and I told you to watch this, or you're actually looking for help because you're in nursing school. You're about to take the exit HESI, the exit test, whatever you have for your school. I don't know. But I'll tell you how to do all that, how to get ready for it in just a little bit, what I did. And it may not be exactly what you think. So for me, nursing school always starts with a routine. My first semester, I didn't really have a routine. Second semester, all I had to do was literally school because there was no time for anything else. There was so much going on. Third semester, things got a little bit better. Fourth semester, I'm kind of feeling like this is the end of the road. And last semester kind of set me up for now. So this semester, my current routine is I go to school in the morning, I go play disc golf in the afternoon once I get done with class, if I can. If it's warm outside, if it's cold, I still go. Um, but if it's raining, obviously, I'm not going to go. But wind can't stop me. I go anyways. Like today, I'll probably end up going. Uh, it's about 20 mile an hour winds, but it's so much fun. Anyways, I'll go disc golf, and then I'll go hang out with my girlfriend at her house. I'll give her some time, and then... I'll study. I'll study there. Then that kind of maximizes my time throughout the day. Keeps me going, keeps everybody happy. And then in the days that I don't see her, I go see some of my friends and I still continue that routine and I'll study somewhere. I'll study at my place. I'll study at the library. I'll go to her house and study. But you got to be able to have some sort of social life. Um, my second semester, that was impossible, so I can understand if you say that's impossible to do. But just keep at it. Uh, you might get a semester that's a little bit better to you, like I am in now, the fourth semester. I mean, it's still hard. We have less tests, but I feel like I, I can do this. It's doable. We're nearly there. I've done it for the past two years. I've been in harder situations. This is doable. Anyways, um... Then there's also, like, we have a date night once a week. Uh, I give her some time, and that way I'm not completely ignoring her. And then there's weeks where we have tests, and I tell her, this is my week to study. You probably won't get much time with me. Uh, she understands that. Uh, we keep everything pretty schedule, scheduled in advance. That way everybody knows what's going on. But uh, uh, then I also work on Saturdays, typically. Uh, I will work on other days, but it really depends on what's going on with school. And the way it's worked out this semester is I'm there on Saturday. Um, yeah, it's once a week, but you got to do what you got to do. So one of the ways that I keep everything together is Google Calendar. Uh, the app lets me set reminders, events, whatever's going on. So I've kept up with everything using that. For school, it's nice because you can set a reminder for a day, and then it's like a checklist. You can go through and mark the reminder off. If you don't mark it off for that day, it'll move on to the next one. And so, say like yesterday, I had chapter 17 scheduled, and I have chapter 18 today. And it'll show those specific days on the calendar, and then say I don't read chapter 17 yesterday. It moves it to today and it will say today I have to do chapter 17 and 18 and that really helps me keep up with everything and realize what all I have to do left and then once it starts stacking up I feel bad about myself and then I have to read but uh, I try to keep it from getting stacked up but sometimes you just never know we had spring break and I had a lot scheduled but phew, that didn't happen yeah I just kind of let it go and now I'm paying for it but I mean I'll deal with it I kept myself a schedule because It'll keep me on track and gives me a lot of time to study before the test that we have coming up in about a month. So I have a good bit, good bit of time to get ready. So I'm not too worried, but I do need to finish fairly soon. Anyways, uh, I recommend getting that app and putting all your events in there, whatever you have going on. Not just school, but you can put anything in there. You can schedule uh, whatever you want, honestly. You can name anything, everything you want. Um, you can connect it to your Apple phone. Yeah, that's about it for Google Calendar, but I do recommend it very much. It's helped me keep my sanity in the in school. Now, what you are probably really wanting to know is how I studied for the end of program exam. 
Uh, our school takes the HESI. Uh, not every school will do that. We had to take a entrance HESI to get into the program, and it's much, much different than the one we just took. So the entrance HESI is super basic. It covers like fundamental math, uh, reading, writing, vocab, science in some schools, but uh, it's really basic. I wouldn't really worry about that one. Um, if you're worried about getting your score up, I would say go get the study, uh, the study guide. It's super straightforward. I mean, I did the study guide and that was basically the test and the study guide wasn't that difficult either. So the entrance exam isn't really anything to be worried about. We had to take our mid-curricular last semester. Uh, that wasn't too bad either. It was actually easier than the one we just took, but all I did to prepare for that one was go back to some fundamental stuff and go over what I felt like I may have forgotten, which fundamentals, they say a lot of people forget, but I feel like they drilled it into us, so I wasn't too worried about it. And then this time around, our exit HESI. So this thing was 160 questions, and I kept encouraging myself to just get through the test. I was, I, I knew we were going to have it this semester, but I thought it would be a few weeks later, and it ended up being this week. I realized it last Saturday, the test was on Wednesday, and uh, yeah, I didn't really do any preparation for it. I did about 200 questions, I got sick and gave up and so that was literally all the practice that I did 200 questions and it was about anything and everything and then once I got to the exit HESI it was actually nice so you have studied for the last two years for this test whether you know it or not you have and you should know the information you could use it as a basis if you want or you don't want to and you can go study all that you need to for me, I studied as hard as I could for every single test that we've had thus far, and I felt like the test was not a breeze. It was definitely hard. I didn't know what I was going to come out with once I hit done, but it pays off knowing that I studied the last two years. I took the test. I got an A, and I'm just thrilled to be done with that because it's one less thing to worry about, and I knew I was stressed about it. That might be why I got sick. It's over with, and... Really, I'd, if you studied for the last couple of years, you may not need to. Go back and brush up on stuff that you think you need to. But for me, I just winged it really because I, I felt bad this week and dealt with it. I realized that the test is a whole lot of information. It's covering your fundamentals. It's covering your maternity, pediatrics, med surge, mental health. But your teachers probably covered all the main topics. So, it's really not a big deal. You should know the information coming out of nursing school. Um, the test wasn't too bad, I felt like. It was definitely not easy. It makes you think. And if you don't know how to critically think, I don't know the best way to really start thinking like that, but the way I know is if you learn things at the cellular level, you know what's going on at the bigger level. And so I learn everything down here and it teaches you everything up here because you know the way everything works to get from here to here. So that's my recommendation is don't stress too much about it. You can do it. But we have, we had our NJE over the break. Uh, spring break is when I took it. It wasn't bad either. Uh, it was nice to get that over with. So all that we have left, left this semester is two tests, two finals, and graduate, then NCLEX, then the real world. It seems surreal, honestly. There's plenty to be excited about. There's jobs to apply for. Uh, many of us have already done that. I don't know what else there is to be excited about. It's a good semester. I'm almost done, and hopefully you are too. I do want to say good luck if y'all are about to take your exit HESI. Um, don't stress too much. Take your time. You have a lot of time. Um, for 160 questions, I felt like I would go much faster because I'm a pretty quick test taker. Um, I ended up taking about three hours, roughly that. 
Uh, some people use the whole four hours. It's a long test. If you have to take a break, take it. For me, I told myself I had about 80 questions I would take a break, and then I didn't. I was like, I'm on a roll. Let's just keep going. I'll stop at 100, and then I'll go take a break. I got to 100. I was like, I'm on a roll. I got to keep going. I feel I'm feeling good. Feeling good. And then I got to 130. I was like, okay, I'm almost done with this test. Let's just get it over with. I was in the zone. About 155 out of 160, I was saying to myself, I am having a tough time focusing. I didn't get up. I stared at the computer for a second, took my deep breath. You got to learn to control yourself during a test. You don't want to start clicking through the last few questions and messing up all for naught. And uh, 155, it took a quick mental relaxation moment and then got back into it. Drilled the five last questions. Pretty sure I nailed it. And then it was done. Came out on top. Our whole class did great pretty much. And I'm looking forward to finishing this semester. So hope you guys liked the video. Uh, comment down below what problems you think you're having trouble with in nursing school. Um, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. I recommend those three things, not necessarily in that order. Do whatever you need to. But, uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a good day. Good luck with your tests. Good luck with nursing school. And goodbye.